How's it going everyone? I'm gonna make a how-to guide in Twilight Princess yet again. This is how to get every single golden bug in this game, where to turn in, and then how to get the rewards from it. The best reward being the giant wallet. You get that after handing in all 24 bugs. So the first thing probably to cover is the location of all 24 bugs. Let's go. First area is gonna be in Hyrule Field, just north of where you exit Pharaoh Woods. The male beetle is just gonna be in like standing on a tree if you just go north on the road a little bit. You'll hopefully have a better time catching him than I did as the little shit decided to fly away from me. But eventually you'll get him and that is the first one. I, probably one of the easier ones. Uh, one thing to note too, you're going to notice that I don't actually collect all the uh, bugs. Uh, if you've already gotten them, you'll uh, have to be forced to let them go as you would have already collected one. Uh, you get a heart out of it, which is nice, but you, you'll see this a lot in this video because I've actually already collected a decent amount on this account. I didn't really plan this through for the video purposes, did I? Do I plan anything out? You'll notice that there's going to be a male and female counterpart, because now we're into the female beetle. They are all going to be generally in the same location, this is the same part of Hyrule Field. Uh, it's over on this east wall right here, you can kind of look at the minimap. Which, do note, I'm playing on the Wii U HD version, everything is reversed on the Wii version, and reversed again on the GameCube version to be back to this, I guess. The bug's on this tree here, you just gotta, you know, claw shot him over and get attacked by this bird, because that bird's a piece of shit. And eventually you do get the female beetle, this would be the second of the bugs. Also in the Faron province. You can find some bugs in Sigur Grove right outside the uh, Temple of Time. So this is in the actual overworld. Uh, you will find it kind of in this little alcove right here. It just, you're just sitting up here. This is the male snail. The female snail is in the area where you go back in time and like visit the Temple of Time. Also kind of over to the side. Uh, you will find it right here. Uh, both those are not that hard to get either. As you can see here, I'm now in the Gerudo Desert trying to hunt a male dayfly and being attacked by these assholes. I'm getting attacked a lot in this episode already. Uh, it's kind of like in the most southern middle part, you'll find it floating around, you can look at the minimap where it is. But that is the location of the male dayfly. The female dayfly, there's going to be some trenches over the warp point uh, for where the Grudo Mesa is. Uh, it will be in one of those two trenches, just run around and check it out. Also got to tech it again because I'm getting attacked a lot right now. I'm like a guy who makes a mistake online, they just get attacked brutally. Which I'm surprised I haven't been attacked more because I've made a lot of mistakes online. Either way, here's the female dayfly location. Back in Hyrule Field, this is the part just south of the castle town. Uh, in this little kind of garden right here, you will find the next fly. This one in particular is the female ladybug. I don't know why I got the female first. The male ladybug is just over here on the uh, east part of this, or west, depending on what game you're playing. Up here on this rock, which I was attacked by so many enemies. I actually didn't realize you get rubies if you defeat all the enemies, which, well, I'll take it. But yes, you will find the male ladybug over here. I think that's now eight bugs done, and I've been attacked by probably a hundred different things. This is not going well. Over at Kakariko Gorge, this is probably one of the easier ones, right at where the bridge is, is going to be the male pill bug. If you're curious, it is on the west side of the bridge. And if you go over to the east side, you're going to find the female pill bug uh, over here under this tree in this little, kind of little floor, uh, flower area. The ants are in Kakariko Village, which sucks the village, they got ants. The male one is in the graveyard, kind of right near the, where the Zorak grave is, it's under this tree. Uh, this one's pretty easy to find. The female ant's a little more tricky because you have to go into the house that was abandoned. You have to jump through it through the roof, go in there, and get the bug. And also, you need to be wolf to get out of said building. Because, uh, it took me a while to figure that out because I'm dumb. The east portion of Hyrule where you had that massive fight with the giant warthog or whatever the hell that thing is. King Boba's something. Uh, but yeah, you find the grasshoppers there. The male grasshopper is kind of more in the southern central part of it. Uh, you can look at the little map where I'm at. And yes, you'll have to deal with a fuck ton of enemies too, which sucks. Once you have dealt with the fuck ton of enemies, you will have an easier time like I did. Uh, find a female grasshopper in that same area. It's in the northwestern part of this section of Hyrule Field. You can continue along to Elden Bridge, where at the southern end of it is going to be the male phasmid. The fuck is a phasmid? No, I guess it's this. The female phasmid. Is that even pronounced? I don't, I don't care. Uh, it's going to be at the north part of Elden Bridge and also up in this ledge, too. You need the claw shot to get up there. Uh, that's really the only trick to this one, though. Now at the northern part of Hyrule Field, I've once again run into a bunch of birds, and I am getting extremely annoyed at the amount of enemies attacking me. Uh, but at least the male stag beetle isn't that hard to find. It's just on the west side of the bridge, uh, right at this tree. But why is there so many birds? If you want a little trick, it's at the northern part of this, where you start going up into the rocks. Uh, it's going to be not on the top level, but the second kind of level. It's going to be a little west of the midpoint, I'd say. There's like this little path you can open up that uh, leads you somewhere. It's right around there. Getting near the end of this list now, the male dragonfly is going to be found in Zora's Domain, uh, which is actually a great spot to find the bugs, because there is no birds being assholes in here, so I was very pleased with that. Uh, it's just over on the east side right here, it's actually quite easy to see, I saw it from a distance. The northern part of Zora's River will have the 
female dragonfly. It's right near the lady's house that has the crazy hair. Looks like a beehive, honestly. Not really sure what he's going for there. But yeah, it's kind of right near her house. Um, you do need a claw shot or the gale boomerang to get it down towards you, but uh, you'll find it over here. If you're now in the western part of Hyrule Field, if you go kind of to the southern part of it, there's going to be this little patch of flowers. You will find the male butterfly there. And that was easy to find. The female butterfly is a little trickier because on the side, just a little north of the uh, main path, I'd say, of West Hyrule Field, you have to claw shot up to find another patch of flowers where you'll find said female butterfly. The females have been a lot harder to find than males. It's just like how it works on the fucking dating apps. Last set of bugs here, the male mantis is up first. It's on the north side of the Bridge of Julia, which is actually the Bridge of Hylia. It just, I typed it wrong in my notes. Oops. Yeah, it's pretty easy to find. And the female mantis is uh, a little south of the bridge and kind of where this tree is. Take a little bit to find, but you'll you see it here in the video of where the exact location is. With that said, you find all 24 bugs. You need to turn them into Agatha because she wants to have a golden bug party. Yes, that is something this chick is into. Um, good for her. So the thing is, if you give her one, you will get 50 rubies. If you give her the complete set, you get 100 rubies for it. For a total of 150 per set. And yes, if you give her all 24 of the golden bugs, you get the giant wallet. I'll have the notes on the screen to explain exactly what you get from Agatha. I think it actually varies between the games you're playing too. This is the Wii U HD version. Uh, so if you play a different game, you might have different results. But that is the list of how to find every single golden bug in Twilight Princess. I hope you enjoyed the guide. Or maybe you didn't. I, I don't really care at this point. Just You just have fun. That that's all I care about. Go, go hunt the bugs and don't kill them. They, they, they have a life too.